Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just want to do a real quick video showing you how to track out your beats from Machine inside of Studio One. Now, I've done some videos like this before, but I wanted to do an update because of the Studio One version 2.5 that changes the way that you can actually track out your beats inside a machine. So we're going to set it up the normal way where we go in and um, actually route our different group. I'm going to just do the groups. I'm going to just route the groups separately. So I'll go to my groups and route them to the different outputs. I'll do this one to one. So we got five, we're using five external outputs. Now, of course, to show this inside of the mixer, let me close that, show this inside of the mixer, you just go over here to the machine and click expand and then turn on the outputs that you need. So so I got five. I got five outputs. And just to double check and make sure they're going to the outputs, let's see. So we're good, right? All right, so here's the new thing you can do. Let's say I want to go in and add some tracks. So I'm going to say add tracks. And I'm going to just add, let's just do five. So I'm going to say five. Stereo tracks, not worry about the preset. This is the change right here. So I'm going to go to my input. So I'm going to make these uh, actual audio tracks right here. I'm going to go to my input, go down here to instruments. You can see now we can actually have the input of our plugins or your buses or your returns. They can actually be inputs to audio tracks now. So if, if I choose this one right here, you see I have it clicked to ascending. So if I choose the fir very first output, it's going to give me, it's going to assign the out automatic outputs for the rest of the machine. So ascending will assign each one of these outputs consecutively to an audio track. So we'll just say, okay, I can change the output for those actual tracks. If I want to, I'm going to leave them to main, click okay. So now we actually have those outputs going to audio tracks. So what I want to do now is I'm going to just choose all these audio tracks. I'm going to record and enable them. But I don't want to monitor because I don't want to get feedback. But now you can see them. So now I can actually record this in real time and record my tweaks and record my, you know, mutes and solos and different stuff like this. So for those that like to record their performances in real time, but you still want to get your separate audio outputs and everything, uh, you can now do that in Studio One. I know for me, this is something I asked for a while ago, and I'm glad that they finally did something like this. So it's really cool to see them continuing to improve on the platform and add the little things that make a difference for um, a lot of people. So for those of you that were looking forward to this, now that we have this all set up and ready to go, I can just click record. And as you can see, it actually recorded all that for me. So you see where it drops out. You see the parts dropping out, everything. So I'm pretty much good to go now. Actually, I could go in and just delete this. Say I'll just get rid of this, remove this and the instrument. So we're good to go. So like I said, it's a it's a major addition for those that like to capture their performances in real time, like to track out their stuff in real time. And, you know, now you can just capture everything directly out of the plugin into audio. It also works on your bus tracks and your return tracks. So you can really do some really creative routing inside of Studio One now, which is really, really cool. So, of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. See y'all later. Peace.